In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 why people fail with their diets. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. When people go on a diet, they automatically believe that they are depriving themselves and their bodies of the foods they need. Do you have any idea how that affects them? Embarrassing. This is why two out of every five people who start a diet fail within the first seven days. After a month, just one of the five continues to thrive. Why do so many people's diets deteriorate? They struggle because we put so much emphasis on the diet and overlook the lifestyle changes. Here's a list of the top 10 why people fail with their diets. Let's start. Number 10. Lack of willpower. We live in an age of instant gratification, with on-demand movies, online shopping, and microwave meals zapped and on your plate in under 3 minutes. So it seems that the general consensus is that if I want that bar of chocolate, I want it now, and why shouldn't I? I can give you a hundred excuses why not, starting with those love handles on the back of your hips that hang, so attractively over your belt, but I'm not going to be there when you're looking at the candy counter at the gas station. You must desire to make a difference for yourself because, in the end, it is up to you and no one else. To make a profound shift in any of our ingrained patterns, it takes dedication and character strength, but once the momentum is established and a sense of fulfillment and well-being becomes your constant companion, you can do it. Number 9. Poor Support Structure We all need assistance. Remember the old adage, there's a good woman behind every good man. True. But I think I can make it a little more current by saying that, behind every successful individual is a positive and reinforcing social system. Perhaps not as catchy as the original, but much more important to our current 21st century world. Negative people rob you of your life. They don't want you to succeed, because by doing so, by daring to be different and breaking away from the norm, you put the scarcity and inadequacy of their own lives into sharp relief. These are the so-called friends who will continually challenge why you want to improve yourself, why you work harder than they do, why you want to take care of your life, whether by diet, exercise, or just general self-discipline. Number 8. Unrealistic Expectations Often undersell and over-deliver on any client-focused service, whether it's personal training or something else. We all know that doing the opposite leads to disappointment and a nagging feeling of unhappiness. So, why set yourself up for these negative and disempowering feelings by creating completely unreasonable expectations? You may aspire to have a body like Brad Pitt's or Oliver Proudlock's, or even Lara Croft's athletic curves and movements, but let's be honest for a moment. You are literally setting yourself up for failure if you are 50 pounds overweight and giving yourself 5 weeks to get ripped abs or tight buns. With failure comes dissatisfaction, derailment, and a gradual, or rapid, return to your bad habits and simple self-gratification comfort zone. Number 7. Lack of clear goals. Lack of simple and precise objectives can sabotage your motivation and success in the same way that ambitious, ambiguous goals can. Will you take a road trip to a place you've never been before without a map in the hopes of getting where you think you might like to go and ever plan to arrive? You'd become depressed, lonely, and disoriented, eventually returning to your starting point, because it's the only place where you feel at ease and know your way around. Imagine planning your trip, laying out a step-by-step -step plan of where you want to go and how you'll get there. You know which roads to take and that each waypoint you pass brings you closer to your final destination. When embarking on any action that takes you outside of your usual modes of behavior, this is the only path to take. You'll only succeed in the long haul, the only haul worth succeeding in, if you have specific targets to strive toward and benchmark your progress toward, whether it's a workout regimen, a job advancement, or implementing new food habits, note, I don't say dieting. Number 6. Too goal-oriented. This isn't a case of me contradicting myself. Much as a lack of priorities will derail you, being too focused on goals to the exclusion of anything else will do the same. Rudyard Kipling's poem, If, is one of my favorites, and we should all have it written on our bathroom mirrors to remind us every morning and night that a setback, a missed target on the scales, a lapse in our healthy eating plan, is just a temporary setback, and that we can get back on track tomorrow. In short, don't be one of those people who are so caught up in their goals, 
that they throw in the towel and revert back to their unfulfilled old self at the first sign of a blunder. It's all about the road, not the final destination. Number 5. Fad Dieting The fad diet is the king of the dieting world in an era of marketing gimmicks and fast fixes. To put it bluntly, the grapefruit diet, the cabbage diet, and even the Atkins diet, which has many positive aspects, that I will discuss in a later article, are all a waste of time. Something that is both a fad and detrimental to your long-term success is, in my view, something that is short-term and unsustainable, in other terms, something that does not instill new and long-lasting patterns in your food intake. If you can't integrate and apply what you're doing, in this case, your diet, into the real world, it's probably useless. Fad diets and unrealistic eating plans are almost always unhealthy and nutritionally deficient, and they always fail, returning their users to a worse state than when they began. Number 4. Crash Dieting Crash dieting, a close relative of fad dieting, exemplifies our appetite for immediate gratification and our all-too-human inability to wait. However, the tortoise triumphed over the hare, and in dieting terms, the tortoise crosses the finish line first, while the hare burns out and retires before the race has even reached halfway. Far too often, I encounter desperate people who honestly believe that after a time of dieting, their bodies will still yo-yo back to their starting point. The main reason for this is that instead of following a sensible long-term eating plan that can be adapted for everyday use, in other words, and I know I'm sounding like a broken record, it should be about instilling new habits and eating patterns, these unfortunate souls go all out to lose all of their excess weight in the shortest possible time, plunging hell for the sake of it. The human body must be coaxed rather than surprised, and it is beyond the reach of this article to go over all of the risks associated with crash dieting. However, I would hope that the threat of nutritional deficiencies leading to anything from brittle bones, and temporary infertility to a decreased thyroid and wasted muscle tone would deter everyone. Number 3. Incomplete and flawed understanding of basic nutrition. I believe we should all agree that food isn't just there to fill our bellies, it plays a critical role in, everything from our mental acuity to our physical energy, appearance, and longevity. So. Why do so many people struggle to tell the difference between a carbohydrate and a protein? Read some books or seek advice from a specialist, or do both. The body you walk around in is dictated by the food you eat. All you have to do is strive for a simple understanding. Number 2. Hidden Calories My pet peeve is hidden calories. Too often, I hear the complaints of disappointed dieters who claim to be doing everything I ask only for me to painstakingly audit their food diaries and discover problem, after problem caused by so-called, hidden calories. Fruit juices, the worst and most frequent offender, unnecessary salad dressings, ketchup, you'd be surprised how much some people use. And full fat, or even semi-skimmed milk and tea, coffee should all be avoided by the prudent dieter seeking safe and long-term fat loss. Number 1. Ignoring exercise. The food choices you make are the life and death of any fat loss program. It's important to remember, however, that your resting metabolic rate determines the majority of the calories you burn per day RMR. The calories you burn outside of your RMR by exercise and the thermogenic effect of food make up a small portion of the total calories you burn every day. RMR is essentially determined by the amount of muscle on your body and how hard the muscle is forced to operate. As a result, including behaviors that encourage or preserve muscle mass will force the body to function harder and boost your metabolism. What is the single most effective method of exercise for achieving these objectives? What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.